Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are watching me on Foster and Crochet by Amber Allen, you have seen my short four or five minute video um, that shows you that I was making this and it was how I, my progress and all my wonderfulness. If you are not and you're watching me on my other channel, which is My Crochet Experience by Amber Allen, that is just tutorials only. Let me tell you something, I can chit chat, I can chit chat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I am using my Fostering Crochet by Amber Allen for that can't shut up channel because <laughs> I talk all the time. And I'm going to try really hard not to talk in this so that I can upload it to both of the videos. Congratulations for those of you watching my crochet experience by Amber Allen because this is my first crochet tutorial that I am loading onto that channel. I am going to only do the mini version of this because this is 11 inches by about 10 inches square ish. Hmm. It's made with super saver. So it's very stretchy and I love super saver because look at how beautiful it just looks gorgeous and delicate, but it is so sturdy. You can throw it in the wash gobs and gobs of times and it'll just be so amazing. And I love it. And it does soften up in the wash. So if you would like to take a picture of this grid and I'll get it a little bit closer for you. It's not fitting in all the whole picture. I apologize, but it's 27 across here. So you would chain 28 and then single crochet in the second chain from hook and then all the way across to give you those 27 uh, single crochets and you need two of those rows and then you can start this big old pattern. For this tutorial, we're going to do the mini me and this is what the mini me is going to look like. It is one. Whoops. Look at that. Fuzz is free guys. Fuzz is free. Um, so this is the mini me and it is all puff stitches. How gorgeous is that? Yeah, I know you can see the whole office uh, in that previous shot, which is okay. We'll get nice and close and personal for this video tutorial. So yeah, it looks really, really nice. Don't you like it? I really, really love it. I think this time we're gonna go ahead and do it in the rose, I think, color. Oh, raspberry. This is super old. This is a probably 20 year old skein as well. This one was done in some soft pink or dust rose or something, I don't remember. Um, but these are all super savers. I just love them. They're so cute. And I want to show you something real quick. Uh, yeah, this has a lot of fuzz on it. I've had it, I don't even know for how long, but I take my scraps and I make little hearts. This is actually a bobble heart. So if you want to, instead of, you know, filling this all in with puff stitches, you could just do the whole outside with bobbles or just with puffs. Um, and that way you would get this very interesting looking and I made a whole blanket out of it. I think there's 20 squares. It's super beautiful and hmm, it was supposed to be a giveaway, but I did not put it away. Um, which I really, really should have done and, but I didn't. And so the cats got on it and now it's mine forever and ever. Nice. Once I get a website, I will go ahead and put this grid on there. It'll actually look like something like, and let me just pause 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 for a moment yes i know i'm talking i can't help it this is the grid of the sun and or sun like aztec -y thing but this is what i do for my notes so i'll i'll put in uh let's say single crochet in 13 stitches so that'd be 13 stitches and then you're going to work a bobble and then you're going to work 13 single crochets and then you're going to chain one and then you're going to turn so that's what it's going to look like when i get my online website going and this grid will be up there in the meantime take a picture of it and then you can count um, this is 18 I can tell you that bobble or puff and then eight after that and then you can do it any which way you want to we're gonna work the mini me today but like I said it's easy to do the big one I'm gonna do a couple of them hopefully I can get uh, three more out of that and this, like I said this is a big old 12 by 11 and then of course once I border it good lord who knows how big that blanket can be but um, we're going to do this one real quick it's so cute so this from here to here is actually 16 17 uh, 17 well because I can do math from 11 to 27 right <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out 
All right, I'm gonna write this up just like this and um, then we can get started on our beautiful little mini, upside down mini to be fair, <laughs> our upside down mini. And uh, yeah, I think it'll look really, really good in this raspberry. And since I have tons and tons of yarn, I can make a whole bunch of these, a raspberry, gray, blue, whatever. I got tons of super saver. We can make a bunch, a bunch. And uh, gosh, I can't wait for that blanket. It's gonna look so good. Okay, let's move that out of the way. All right, so I made a quick little box. So we're gonna chain 18 for this little mini me. So let's chain 18. Let's do it. Oh my God, I'm so glad I had it on pause. I almost killed my phone. I almost killed it. There we go. Oh, you can see where the seam is in my it's okay, right? The seams are okay. The seams are okay. They're okay. All right, so I'm going to chain 18. To be fair, I have no idea what that is. But chain 18, I'll meet you back. 18 is done. 18 is done. So, second crochet, I mean, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So, this would be one. That would be two. I ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -boom, love using the back bump. I think it makes a better finish. And I got to say, I want to thank Krista from The Secret Yarnery for showing me this trick. I love it. And I've been crocheting for 30 dang years. And just, you know, I just had to like watch somebody do it over and over again. So I'm going to go all the way across and that will give me... 17 single crochets. I will meet you. <laughs> Look at the little honey bunny. When I'm done. I am done. I've got 17 single crochets right here. Look how bam. I just love me this. Yeah, it's going to do this. Don't worry about it. It'll work itself out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am a huge, huge, big time. I love a turning chain. Big fan. Turning chain. Now, I need two rows of single crochets just to just to help that help it out so this is the first single I mean this is the first stitch right here oh my gosh still new at this tutorial stuff so please thank you thank you so much for your patience I really appreciate it so we're gonna go all the way across with 17 single crochets and I've got to ask you this question are you a knife or are you a pin are you a knife or are you a pin? So this is the knife. And this is sort of the pin. Sort of the pin. Whoops. I'm not doing half double crochets. Lord me. Look, I'm already discombobulated because I can't do a, a pencil hold. I'm telling you, I used to do this for 30 years. Wait a minute. I don't know if I could do the pencil hold anymore. Have you ever changed from one to the other? I was a pencil holder for ever and I was super duper fast I mean like super quick and I can't even hold it anymore Ugh, I can't even hold it the pencil way anymore how crazy is that nope I switched over to the knife about a year ago and I am in completely happy ever since super duper happy ever since okay so i'm going to finish that there's only a couple more to go but to be fair okay i am at the end i'm going to chain one and i'm going to turn now <clears throat> what i need to do for this little mini me look at that little honey bunny is i'm going to single crochet eight in the next eight stitches or the first eight whichever and then i'm going to do a puff stitch and then i'm going to chain in the last eight and to be fair this is going to be exactly the same so whatever you do on this side, you're going to do on this side. It's so awesome. I love that. So eight, puff, eight. I'm reading, I know, backwards. <laughs> That's. I don't know why I do that. I just do. So, boom, let's do this. I'm going to show you when we get to the puff stitch what I like to do. Seven. And eight. All right. The puff stitch that I like to do is... They're like half double crochets, except you're never going to finish it. Well, you are, but we're at the way end. So it's going to be an incomplete half double crochet. And when I mean incomplete, I mean like completely incomplete. So yarn over, go through the stitch. That's the next one. 
pick up a loop, and that's it. Don't do anything else. Except yarn over and do it again. There's two. Do it again. Yarn over. Go through. Go through the right hole. Yeah. Pick it up. There's three. And oh, let's do one more. How you like the shadow? Mm -hmm. How you like that shadow? And then we're going to go over and go through all of them. And then just to finish it off, I like to close it with the chain. I love to close it with a chain. Now on this side, you're not going to be able to see any much, but on this side, it's going to look so party parties. It's looking so gorgeous. This is the next stitch, and you're going to do eight across. You're going to do eight across. So what are you? Well, tell me, are you a knife or are you a pencil? I think the pencil, I don't know how I did it for so many years. I just I don't I don't know how I did it I can't I just it's so hard anyway meet you back oh you remember how much I love my turning chain so I'm at the end I'm going to choo -choo, chain one turn it over look at that little hunter boners and this is a single crochet row every other row single crochet makes the bobbles stay on one side that we don't have anything missing this is your first stitch remember don't miss it please don't miss it all right I am going to go with you on this row and probably the next row because I want to show you what it's like to get to the bobble and how you need to single crochet on it before it and after it okay so stick with me, it's just a few more stitches and this this little funny bunny needs to go. It needs to go. All right, is this stitch in your face? Okay, here we go. That's a stitch, so that's a one right before the bobble. And then you're at the bobble and you're like, but where, where do I go? I got it, this is a stitch. If I turn it, I see them right there, that little V. So I'm gonna turn it and go under both of them that's how I don't you know so you don't accidentally skip it and then this one also is one so it's right after doesn't look like it but it is right after so right in before and right after you're gonna have these they don't look like it but they definitely are so finish that and I'll meet you back all right so I am done with that row so you can see that I completed this row right here now I'm gonna work on these three bobble stitches well pop stitches so we're going to work six single crochets, then a puff, then a single, which is right here, then a puff, then a single, then a puff, and then six right there. That is what we're going to do. So I'm going to chain one and then work a single crochet in this one and then the next five. So this is one. It'll be six all together. Two, three because I know you have a hard time counting too right now I'm kidding <laughs> and six so let's go ahead and do that puff stitch this is gonna be fun we're gonna do three okay and then we'll work a lot faster after this okay let me get this string out of my dying way I apologize let's wrap it wrap it all right we're gonna throw it in there grab one pull it out and then we're just going to hold on to it we're going to do that a total of four times this was one let's wrap it go through and grab it and then nothing leave it there that's two grab wrap it go in and grab it pull it through then nothing that was three one more time wrap it go in and grab it pull it through and then you have all of those little honey bunnies I don't know how much are on there I have no idea but just wrap it and pull through all of them and then seal it with a chain. How much fun was that? Uh, the pattern said go ahead and single crochet in the next, right? Single crochet in the next. Oh yeah. I gotta pull. I gotta pull. And then we're gonna do it again. Let's do it a little bit faster. Once you start doing this, you'll get it so fast. That's two. That's three we're gonna wrap it one more time and then we're gonna pull through all of them and seal it with a single crochet 
I mean, I'm sorry, a chain. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then it asks for one more. Let's do it together. Rapid insert grab. Leave it rapid insert grab. Woo woo. Sorry, that was a little. I lost it. Did you see how I lost that? Let's do it again. Don't do it like me and lose it, okay? Okay, that's number three. And that's number four. And we're going to pull through all. Come on, you got this. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Are you stuck? I'm stuck. Help me. Help me. Help me. That's that's not the wrong. That's not the right. <laughs> I got to do it again. Don't you hate when you have to do it again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me do it again. Okay, I just sealed it with a single crochet. Now you're going to finish your last six all the way across. Chain one, and then the next row is single crochet. So I'm going to meet you back around so we can go over top these uh, bobble stitch one more time. This little thing is getting in my way. All right, so I'm getting ready to get to the stitches again. The little puffers. My little puffer honeys. Remember, that is a stitch. Doesn't look like it, but see right there? That's that. Don't miss it. Don't do it. Get it in there. There you go. Now you want to know how to do the puff. Turn it. See where that little V is? Go in there. Boom. You've got it. And remember, there's one. Always a single crochet in between those puffs. Always a single crochet in between those puffs. Now we're going to do the puff. Get to the top, not backwards. Good gracious. I'll do it backwards. There you go. In between. And then on top. This is some old. Look at this yarn. Yeah, it's about 20 or 30 years old. Um, yeah, that's I've had them that long. <laughs> well, actually, I was gifted them. There you go. See, we did it. And then we gotta do this one right here. It's it's just plain as day. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. Go ahead and do that all the way to the end, and then we'll work on the next um, puff, uh, puff row. Yay! So I have chained one and turned, and I'm waiting. So I'm going to do four single crochets, which is this right here, and then that's my puff, and then one single crochet in my puff. So you're going to see four puff, one puff, one puff, one puff, one puff. That's five in a row. And then four to finish it off. You think you can do this on your own? I'll meet you back right there. Okay? Oh my gosh. Look at it so far. It looks so pretty. Look how pretty it looks. So what I did was I did my puff stitch row. And then I did my row of single crochets. Remember I went in the top of these. And in the middle of each puff. This next one is pretty long. So you're going to have two on each end. And then one puff a single crochet puff single crochet puff single crochet puff single that's like seven of those bad boys one two three four five six seven separated by single crochets so what i do is two puff one puff one puff i just follow this or you can just follow this take a pick and then i'm going to go ahead and work this row and then i'll be back right there well we did it we did it one two three four of the puff stitch rows with single crochet rows all the way in the middle look it's looking really good do you see it maybe my light is not overly the best but once we get it all done it'll look gorgeous i'll show you what it looks like after that but guess what we gotta do that again so i completed this row and then i went back up and i did a whole row of single crochets so now i'm back here and i've got to do all these bobble stitches one more time so i promise this is the last one this is like oh takes forever but it's good it's good you'll see like huh whoa right i'm just saying whoa that is looking oh my gosh so we've got <laughs> we're almost done we're almost done so we did this 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 now we're gonna do that this one i haven't written it's gonna be four then a puff one then a puff three because we got the one two three then a puff one to separate that then a puff and then one two three four so that's what that row is going to be four puff one puff three puff one puff four so i'm going to chain one and turn and i'm going to work this bad boy i'll meet you 
Actually, I'm going to finish. I'm going to go all the way up and finish. So after you get done with this row, you're going to need two rows, just like at the bottom, of just single crochet rows. Okay, so meet me back up all the way at the end. Okay. So I'm done. Yeah, it curls. Don't worry about it. Why don't you put borders and stuff? You'll be fine. All right. So that was my last one. Let me flip it over. Bazing. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it look so cute? It looks super cute. Oh my gosh. It looks so cute. I wish you could see it better with my camera. But I'll take a better picture of it. Now what I like to do, and you might hate me for this, is I really, 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 really like having a border. And oh my gosh, did you see that? I almost came undone. I was going to cry. I really wasn't going to. So I do a corner, which means I chain two, and then I go down and every little space, if I can find a chain two, I'm going down. It just helps. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to go all the way down. And then when I get to the corner, you absolutely do not have to do this, but I think it makes it look really well. And um, it's just easier for me to, you know, attach them. I really like making borders, so I will probably border this with a different color, so it'll be easy for me to border it, and even if I need an extra stitch, I can, you know, increase somewhere around here. I'll count them and then increase this, but I go all the way around, so it looks so nice on each edge, right? So how much yarn did I use? I don't know. I have no idea how much yarn. So let's just say that I went ahead and bordered it, right? <laughs> This little honey bunny is, oh, it's so good, seriously, and it's so good, sir. It's a little seven. Oh, it's so tiny. So if you wanted to add a couple more rows to the top and the bottom to make it a perfect square, this is definitely not a perfect square. Seven by five, still so super cute. But if you made a whole bunch of these, it would look super cute, right? I made one with 40, no, I made it by seven by seven at 49 of these hearts, and it was so gorgeous. I loved it so much. Um, but this is just a quick and easy you know, I'm going to pull a couple more yards out that way. It'll give me enough to do the ends. Now, normally I wouldn't do this. I would wait to cut, but I want to see how much yarn this actually took. Have you ever just used your, your, uh, use your little scrappies and then make little, little balls out of them? I'm going to do that right now to see how much yarn it is. Okay, I widened the camera out a little bit. So here's the mini-me. I added a couple more rows. So it's a little, I don't know. But anyway, there's the mini-me, and this is how much yarn it is. <laughs> this is this is a big skein, and look, I barely used any. I barely used any. <laughs> this, this bad boy, oh, sorry, has 225 grams, 8 ounces, how many yards do you think it has in it? I don't know. It doesn't say. Sorry. <laughs> doesn't say. That sucks. Oh, well. No biggie. We're sure it probably said somewhere around here, but it's all tore up. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Just a little ball right there. Made this little mini me. Do you have? Look. Do you have that? It's upon my hands. If you have that, you can make that. If you have double this, you can make that. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love this one. Remember, take a screenshot of the grid so that you can work the double hearts. And if you work it the other way, you'll have this one over here and that one over there. Wouldn't it be cool? No, I don't think you can fit four hearts, but thank you so much for sticking with me and doing my mini-me. No, I did not cry at all over that. I've got plenty of yarn and plenty of little <laughs> things I can make. I am good to go. Thank you so much. You guys remember to smile big and often. You'll make somebody's day. I promise. You've already made mine. Thank you.